All right, today's Sunday. We're going to Fannywood. Uh, Fannywood, right? Not Fannywood. No, I think they call it Fannywood Street Fair. Though. Yeah, yeah, we're going to Fannywood. There's a street fair, and I believe they call it the Fannywood Street Fair for some reason. Fannywood Day. Oh, Fannywood Day a Street Fair. Okay. Um, I've been to this one more than a few times. We've been to there. They have like three markets they do. They have uh, the street fair, an antique market, and a flea market. Uh, this one is the street no, fair. they just have the street fair and the antique market. They don't have like a regular flea market? No, okay. Well, they have the antique and the, the flea. Antique collectibles. Antique collectibles and the street fair. Uh, so, normally this one isn't that bad. We usually do okay here. Um, so, hopefully today we'll do alright. Uh, like I said, I'm familiar with this one. I know the setup. I know where I park, I know everything, so I don't know, it'll, it'll, it shouldn't be too complicated. But anyway, that's where we're headed now. We're running a little bit late. Um, Continue point six miles. I Thank think it's, you right uh, we like to get there at six, you know. Um, but anyway, uh, we're on the way and let's see how the day goes. Number uh, 15. It's going to be a tight squeeze today. Uh, I'm going to have to make it work. I was hoping to spread and get a lot of stuff nice and easy. There I am. There's my number 15. I laid out the numbers today, so um, I have a bench in my spot. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess I got to get everything out. We'll see how it works. I'm going to have to be creative today for sure. It's going to be super tight. I got to be real creative. I'm going to have to like decide what to put out, what not to put out. I mean, I know I got a lot of nonsense. That I should that shouldn't I shouldn't put out, but it just takes me longer to do it that way because I have to sort everything, you know. But whatever, I, when it's done, it shouldn't be too bad. Let's see what happens. Uh, all right, this is me being super creative with my space. I, I cheated a little. I took uh, about a foot uh, this way, but actually nobody's here. This is a walkway, so I'm not. I'm barely even going into it. I'm going into it like over there, like six inches. Uh, and of course I went all the way to my line over there. Um, my tent is off center, mostly covering where Marie will set up her jewelry. Here's what I do with the tables. I'll start in the back row, which I put, put all the way against the curb. Um, we are only allowed to go 10 feet forward, actually. And what you see is I bring my tent up onto the curb a few feet, so it kind of works out like this. See, one, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like maybe eleven feet. That's that's barely anything. Um, there, you're supposed to say like the size of the tent, basically. All right. Uh, here's what I did. I put one large folding table here, and then just to, to fit it across, I put two smaller folding tables here. One, two. Then I put two large folding tables in the center. That's where I'm gonna put my CDs and all my $2, three for five stuff. And I put my small table, small non-folding tables in the shape of an L. Uh, not for loser, actually it's backwards L. So that's the loser side. I don't know if that's the winner side, I don't know. I did the same thing on that side. It's the loser side, I guess. Uh, two tables in the center. I managed to get out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine tables. Normally I put out ten tables. Uh, I just spread them and arrange the space differently. Um, at the most I ever put out would be eleven tables, um, and that would be this black table. Anyway, let's uh, let me cover everything up and start putting stuff out. This is how the day begins. I already dropped that. Everything fell on the floor. Uh, I picked up some. I actually, it fell and I was holding it, so that's why I didn't completely drop it. Just everything fell out, so it's okay. Anyway, let me pick this stuff up and then I'll go back to figuring out what the hell I'm doing with the space. I'm gonna be sneaky. Uh, since Michael's leaving this huge walkway, I'm gonna switch this table for that smaller table. It'll give me like an extra foot of table space, which I sorely need. And so basically it's big table, big table, one small table, that's what me cheating. Else, I don't know what that is, seven, 
whatever shaped uh two tables same over there on that side and the two big tables in the center all right back to it other minor annoyance had to move the car they they uh, wouldn't let us park where we parked every single year even last year for all the years that i've done this uh so here we parked i think it's a shabbat center uh, let's see there's a decent amount of parking here at least 20 spots for vendors across the street from the quick mart it's this yellow building on the corner of Shilin's and Crossing, Shabbat Jewish Center, right there, uh, South Avenue, Shilin's Crossing. Uh, you know what? Let me just cross this way. We, we used to be parked. That's where the flea market starts. We used to be parked you know, all the way in the back of the Provident, but there's a restaurant or something. That white building. Let me see, where is it? It's too sunny. There's a white building over there, I think. That's a restaurant. He doesn't want people parking there anymore. So basically, the Shabbat Jewish Center across the street from the El Cafe, cafe and around the corner. No more parking over there. All right. Uh, so nothing's going on just yet. Uh, I might as well show the way. I'm gonna set up my space. I left Marie her normal amount of space to set up, but she's not here yet. It's not 10 o'clock yet. Let me show you what I did. I, I cheated a little bit. I, I went a little bit over, but whatever. There's plenty of walk space here, so uh, it shouldn't be a problem. I put some consoles out. With the consoles, I just added some games. I'm going to sell probably the PlayStation 40 bucks, the, uh, the 360 probably 50 bucks, the Wii 30, and I'm going to try and get as close to 50 as possible for... Oops step on that as close as possible for uh to 50 for the 64 i'm telling everybody today i'm running a special these games none of this here has been moving so i'm going to do eight i'm going to do half price whatever's in the case i told them right um this table whatever's on this table i might add to it but right now whatever's on this table is three dollars two for five or five for ten that's a special this whole center table, I want to get rid of DVDs and CDs so I can clear out and bring new stock in. I'm not bringing new stock in uh, until I blow out the old stock because I don't want to mix old stock that's been here a long time with new stock uh, right now. So, what I'm telling people is, I'm going to do the same thing as Rutherford. If we get a lot of traffic, I should do good. If we don't, I don't know. But the special today is going to be like um, $2, 3 for 5 10 for 10 anything on the center here. Um, I'm going to tell people five on this. This is just miscellaneous prices right there. And, uh, yeah, and I just got to fill that gap. And this is going to be my, like, dollar or less section. Uh, I threw some cars on top of there. And I'm going to, I'm actually sifting through the My Little Ponies and only going to put out the clean ones. Uh, I don't really like putting out dirty toys for kids. So I'm part way through and I'm making a bag of parts what I'll probably do is I'll probably throw the parts on eBay just to get rid of them um, kind of like for people who include parts, accessories repairs, art projects, whatever and um, and then sell the good ones to people, the clean ones at least uh, might as well just show what the street's like, it's not super crowded as of yet a little dense on, as I get towards here it's starting to get a little bit crowded, which is good. I uh, hope to do a lot today. I'm just doing all kinds of deals, blowing, uh, like all blowout prices. I'm doing a 10 for 10 on CDs. I'm doing a 3, 2 for 5, 5 for 10 on records. Um, same for DVDs, just blowing it out. Even the toys, I'm selling, I'm selling them really cheap today. Oh, and I even did my video game uh, section, just half price. Because the stuff, I've had it too long. The, the cases are crumbling from the sun. I was about to literally pull this stuff and put it on eBay. So I figure this way, I can just not have to do the eBay work. And I'm trying to get to the bathroom, actually. This is why I walked away from my table. I'm walking through the market. But they blockaded everything. And I can cut through here. All right. Pocket. Hold on. Uh, a spilling... 
stuff day. Uh, I just dropped Marie's purse, and but the stuff was easy to pick up. But then as I picked up the rest of the stuff, all the change fell out. So it's a drop stuff day. Oh, table cloth on Looks the table. Like I got that on the controls. The floor, that's all you. All right. Now, can everybody step back so they're behind where I'm standing I'm right now? On, uh... Can everybody step back, please? I am gonna bet on. So I'm gonna be walking uh, back and shirt, forth and hat. seeing who I feel should be the winner. Now, I'm gonna make a disclaimer right now. That's my daughter. <laughs> She has no chance of winning. I've seen her eat. <laughs> Have fun. All right. Are the contestants ready? Are the tools ready? I a bunch of people get like tomato sauce on I don't face. even want to ask if the tools are clean. I'm staying out of trouble. All right. Are the contestants ready? Yes or no? Everybody's going to have tomato sauce on their shirt. Oh my goodness. Sure. Let's try this again. Guy's blue shirt. Are the Ruined. contestants ready? Already. Yeah. That's better. Are the I literally am voting for blue shirt and blue cap. Are the fans all ready? <laughs> That's what I want to say. Sorry, I've been doing this since 8 o'clock this morning and the mouth stops working after a little while. momentum. All right, here we go. That. We're going to get started. Again, it's food with hands. Did that just really happen? That's not cheese sauce. <laughs> Did you get that on video? Are you a resident of Fanwood? Oh good, because you weren't going to be a resident of Fanwood much longer. Okay, Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry about the napkins, I'll take care of them. Here we go. So the band is playing for you. But I'm sure John has some really good to music them. to motivate you to eat fast and have fun. John, you'll call out three minutes, two minutes, one minute, 30 seconds. Yo, yo, yo. He's playing music gotcha. very loud. All right, here we go. On your mark. Oh my God, it's like 10 minutes long. Get Just set. Do it. Go. I'm going to spell the screen. Go. So basically, the oh, they can use their hands to eat. As fast as you can. I did not know they could use their hands. I thought it was a face first thing. Oh my goodness gracious. I'll tell you, I'm Look rooting for a blue shirt. Do we feed these people at all? Does anybody ever feed these people? Yeah, the kids trying. I would have started with the meatballs. It's far down the pasta. Isn't this funny? Yeah. Oh, green shirt has not a chance at hell. Remember. I want you to know, breathing is not optional. Breathing Guy in the end is doing required. His best. He might be the ringer. You must be so proud. This is amazing. Look at these people go. Oh my Lock goodness. My shot. Come on, cheer on whoever you yeah, want to There you go. Gotta eat the meatball. Looks like, blue, looks like I got it wrong. Blue shirt looks tired already. John, the kid, I don't know, minutes. he's probably going to start cleaning right, it over his shoulders. Two minutes. Green Troy is doing okay. Okay, just a reminder, okay. everybody. This is sponsored by Tapio. Dude, the Green Troy is like is right just grabbing a huge handful. Great pizza, great and taking food. one small bite. And I want you to all to know, listen careful. They provide. They I, I like the concentration on Blue Shirt. That's why I, I voted for him. He's got like the right size handful, picking it up. Not going, grabbing two big handfuls, not going crazy. Pink shirt is just showing off. He's just grabbing like a huge handful and a meatball. He's going to try and force it down. If anybody throws up, it's going to be pink shirt. This is actually taking much longer than I thought. Blue shirt kid. I don't know. I'm still... Still going for a blue shirt, blue cap. Right, All right, folks. Five, four, three, eat the meatball. Eat the two, meatball. one. Everybody stand up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Oh, I thought it was the first one to finish. Boy, wait, wait. Uh, New York's got it in the back. That's a ringer. My bad. I wasn't even paying attention to New York in the back. He's a ringer. Oh well. Oh well. We know. I'm out of here. Totally blew it on that. 
I had a feeling that the guy at the end was a ringer. Just by looking at him. He was like real casual, uh, no big deal. And I wasn't even paying attention to him. Boom, he's done with his food. Everybody is like maybe at best two thirds in. Either way, kind of front. This almost looks like SpongeBob. <laughs> this over here. Is that me? Is that my imagination? Yeah, it probably is. Okay, we're done. Went to the Dunkin' Donuts. I got a refreshing drink. Um, I don't know. What'd you think? I know. It's like, you know what's weird? It's like, it doesn't suck. It isn't horrible. But it's not good, really. Right? And you agree with what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, well, it wasn't the worst day ever. It was, like, no big deal. Not good. I need a home run. And then, like, what would have been a home run last week uh, rained on us. But honestly, it's like, I don't know. It's like, I have mixed feelings. <laughs> I'm like, eh, whatever. <laughs> it's like, it wasn't bad. You know, the last time we did it, we did better. You know, than this time. So, But uh, did you have any really annoying customers say? No. No? People that look this up and said, I'll be back, and then they don't come back. Yeah, that's always annoying. I'll be back. Okay, so I'll just hold it here around, for you. I'll be back. Okay, okay, you have that walk, and but we'll just like, hold you know, it for you. it's like, you know, it was a $25 sale, or yeah. it was a $10 sale, and it's like, oh. Yeah, I'll be back. Okie dokie. I just, when they say I'll be back, if they come back, I'm like, <gasps> I'm like shocked. I'm like, you came back. I was like, what the hell, right? And then like, and then when they say they came back to buy something, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> I'm really shocked. Um, I had I had one annoying guy today, just walking around, just complaining about this or that, or telling me how I can get it for cheaper. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? No. Well, okay. He, uh, his son wanted the 64. Oh. So you remember the guy? No. Well, the whole time he's there, he's like, "Oh yeah, maybe I'll buy that for a dollar." They're talking about the CDs and the DVDs. I'm like just ignoring them, right? Um, and he's going like, oh, yeah, I got that. I just went to a yard sale. I got that. Oh, my God, yeah. Ignoring him, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, pretty much the whole time. Just so like. got a Nintendo 64 for a dollar? No, he didn't. Uh, no, he would buy something. I had the CDs, and I was going like, and the DVDs. I'm going to $2, $3, $3 for 5 but I was doing a 10 for 10 because I want to. I'm not adding new stock until I blow out some of the old stock. I got too much of the stuff I just had forever. I'm just going to sell it cheap. You know, but so far, nobody's been like, I'll buy 100 like I would do. You know, or 200 or 300. Um, they just been buying, like, I'm doing a 10 for 10, like ShopRite or something, right? Uh, so, one guy bought like 20 something, right? But that was it, 22? That was a big CD sale? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he bought 20 CDs and two DVDs. Okay. Um, so, anyway, while well, the guy was looking at, um, at the CDs and the DVDs, like, oh, I'll give you a dollar for that. And I was like, I didn't even go, like, yeah, you got my 10. You know? And I was looking at the games, just kind of like, he's like, oh, did you have any better games? Well, and then he, uh, he was with his son when his son was like, so I'm like 50 bucks on, on um, the 64 because I think I, I have at least, I don't even know what I pay for. I, would, I probably have 30 or so into it. Um, oh, Dairy Queen. Oh, yeah. Everybody going to Dairy Queen. But whatever, right? So, um, I go 50, because it has an expansion pack, and I just, I can't get them for cheap, you know, and I'll just, I'll sit on it, I don't care, I'll rip the expansion pack out, I'll sell it online, I'll, I'll just, I don't care. So, um, his, I know he's, he's coaching his son, go over there and offer him 25, right? She says, would you take 25 for, now it said 50, right? So 25, I'm like, nope, I'm saying, sorry, I can't go that low. You know, 50, that's it, no lower. I said, look, I'll be nice. I'll throw in a, an extra game from there. Because I had a game that's like, I had it marked, I don't know, eight, six, something. I said, look, I'll be nice. I'll throw in another game. They're like, oh, okay. And they walk away, right? So remember at the end of the day, the kid comes back. Oh, is he doing this? Thing? Can I get it for 30? He says, would you go 30 on this? I'm like, nope. Uh, I don't remember how I said it, but I was I was nice about it because it's a kid. I said, nah, look, sorry. I can't go that low. Uh, I, I think I paid about 30 for it. And I probably did. You know, um, yeah. You know what? I paid forty f and with some games. I don't even know. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, so I said, Nah, sorry. Forty uh, is best because thirty is too low. I'm not gonna go thirty on it. You know, if I would pay thirty, I'm not gonna sell it for thirty. Um, so, but I was polite. I said because it's a kid. 
um, young, like probably 16 or something. I said, look, sorry, I, I can't go that low. I probably paid 30 for it. I'll just wait until I sell it, you know. Sorry. Like that. But you know his dad was like, oh, go back. It's the end of the day. He didn't sell it. You know? <laughs> you know how that works. But uh, oh, what are we taking? The, um, Garden State? No, we're going home different. Yeah, we pay tolls. We pay tolls for like... Just to barely drive anywhere in our... We, we like pay a toll of... What, what is it? Like three, four dollars? Just to get off the first exit of... Uh, the turnpike, right? No, it's a dollar and change. Well, we never go to that one. Exit. Yeah, the first. We always go like the. Do we pay a dollar something? I don't know. So it's like two dollars just to go like a couple of miles. Yeah, a couple of miles. And then if you want to go over the bridge, oh my God, that's like fifteen dollars now, right? But if you want to go all the way to the end of Jersey, that's like I don't know, ten or twelve or thirteen. I don't know. It's a lot. Anyway, we're heading home. Blah, blah, blah. Had an okay day. We're out of here. Goodbye. Maybe go get gas. Oh, you want to get gas? Okay. So anyway, we're almost home. And AJ, uh, I was talking to AJ, and he was telling me about, he had a yard sale today, right? So I just told my story about the 64, and everybody's busting my balls. How oh, about $25? I want $30, right? These are regular people. Or maybe it's somebody who buys and sells. I don't know. But AJ said at his yard sale, he had a 64, and he put it out first thing, boom, 50 bucks straight out. And actually, do you know he did like more than twice that we did today at his yard sale? Isn't that crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I didn't do that bad, but still. I, maybe we should have a yard sale at AJ's. <laughs> now, I, t I told AJ, too bad you can have yard sales every week. You know, because he actually. Oh, man. Let's see. Yeah, I think it, I think the yard sale made more than probably all all week. At, at you know, all right. Anyway, we're almost home. AJ wanted uh, me to tell the story about how he sold the '64 and nobody was busting his balls. Uh, anyway, I'm out of here again. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye.